clerk, let's head out. YouTube, what's happening with you guys, man? Welcome back to the channel. Um, as you guys see by the title, we're gonna be installing the AMS intakes on my Q50. Uh, it's gonna be the first time I'm doing this, so we're gonna be stepping outside our comfort zone a little bit. Um, and before this video starts, um, I just wanna challenge you guys to step outside your comfort zone as well in whatever field you guys are working in. Um, and if you guys are up for the challenge, go ahead and tag me on Instagram. All my stuff's gonna be down below. And hashtag Jordan Castro Challenge. So let's see if you guys are up for that. Uh, we're gonna be getting down. The question is, are you? So let's get right into it. You guys see the layout. We got the intakes right here. And I got the tool set up too, so hopefully that's everything I need right there. If not, we'll figure it out. With all that being out the way, let's jump right into it, all right? There's the intakes, you guys. Check it out. Those are tight, huh? Right, I'm gonna link, um, I'll put a link down below for you guys to go purchase the parts if you guys are interested yourselves. And you can also go with the option where that says Alpha instead of Infinity. I want to keep it a little factory look. So, first things first you guys, we're going to take this panel off right here. Just pop all the clips out and then I'll show you guys what's happening afterwards. Alright guys, we got the panel off. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to want to hit these 10 millimeter bolts here. And this one right here too. See that? Same thing on this side, there, and there. As you guys see, we got the K&N air filters right now. Um, we'll see if these intakes make a difference, but if you guys are interested in seeing how those are put in, um, I'll link a video up top you guys can click on and go support that video. Uh, but yeah, let me knock this step out the way and we'll get moving. Okay guys, so we got the 10 millimeter bolts out on both sides. And one piece of advice I can give you guys is just throw all your hardware into a bucket that way it's not rolling around everywhere you don't lose anything and that's something my uncle passed down to me and this is his ride right here that he's whipping around it's 05 g35 and we just painted those calipers on there so if you guys want to go check out that video feel free to check that out and support the channel but we got to get the g35 in there at least one time get some air time all right but the next step that we're going to do is we're going to want to get to this little screw down there that's holding the hose clamp you guys see that down there and then um, we're gonna actually pop this clip out right here that's connecting these wires to the air box that way it just gives us a little bit more room to work around so let's get a little screwdriver and you can pop this clip out that's right here I apologize it's a little hard to see but if you guys are working as well you guys are knowing what I'm talking about all right so we got this out, comes from right there. You see that metal piece there, it's silver. You can pull the hose out, um, and at the same time, just lift up on the whole air box. It should make it a little easier. And then the next thing you're gonna wanna do is undo this clip here. It connects there. Just push down here and pull it out. And with this here as well, you're gonna wanna take that out of there. So you can push down on the top and the bottom of this pinch it together and then you can push it through okay guys you see we got the entire assembly out and now we're gonna work on the passenger side and this side's a little bit more difficult just because there's so much more stuff in the way um, so what we're gonna do is undo the clips here and we're gonna uh, pull this front half all the way out okay so let me do that and then we'll get right back into it okay you guys see we got the front of the passenger side air box out and now, um, it may seem a little tricky to take out, but it's just gonna be connected here with this piece here. Just pull it out, and you guys can start from here. And then what you can do too is, while you're pulling it out, just pull up on this 
pull up on this uh, the back part of the air box because there's little clips down here that it's going to connect to right here so pull up on this one and then you can pop this thing out of there and then um, you guys can undo the clip that's here or here it's just a little tricky to get to this one it's from everything in the way so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unclip the, the clip right here same thing as on the other side um, just pinch the two pieces in and pop it through and then I'll show you guys the next step right so let me undo this clip here and we'll keep it moving so we got the clip out and there's gonna be the same screw that was on the driver's side over here at the end of this um, hose it's a little hard to see just from the lighting that I'm working with but it's there you guys got to reach in for it and what I did is it's gonna be hard to stick a screwdriver in there or a ratchet or whatever you guys are using so what I did is I just grabbed the socket put it in there on the on the screw or the bolt and just screwed it right off um, and then I'm gonna pull this out and we'll keep moving our feet okay guys the next thing you're gonna want to do is undo the clip that's holding this PCV pipe right here um, just get some pliers and take it right off okay so now that you guys have more room to play around with now you can go back in and hit the clip that's under there um, and we'll get both of these up out of there the next thing we're gonna do now that we have it out is undo the screws the Phillips head screws right there and on the other side too there and just take this whole top piece off all right guys an o-ring is also gonna come out with it um, we got it off and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start prying this thing out from here on this side you guys see the arrow we're gonna start prying this out and we're gonna um, twist this part off so let me set you guys up real quick as yeah, so you see this arrow right here this is the side we're gonna start prying from we're gonna pop this out like that and now you guys can turn this piece and pull it out and there it is this piece will come out now you guys want to assemble on um, this piece into the um, new aftermarket hose and I already got the hose clamps in there um, which what you guys are going to want to do is grab the clinch style nut that they provide and stick it in the bottom here and you guys will know that you have everything right because um, this should be lined up in the center here you guys see the little ridge that they have there you just stick it in the center of the coupling for the silicone piece pop this nut in here like that get some pliers and twist it in and this thing here should also be lined up with this yellow piece right there in the center and you guys will know that it's correct with these two um, lined up as well all right you guys now the next thing you're going to want to do um, is take the plastic barb out from the oem coupler and you're going to move it over to the aftermarket one and then you're going to want to throw the hose clamp on there um, and if you guys happen to mess this one up by any means, um, you guys can reuse the OEM one. But let's get that going, and then we'll move on to the next thing. Alright guys, you see how we have this assembled? And you're going to want the clamps exactly how they are on this one here. So go ahead and follow along there. And you see we got the um, clinch nut in there. Completely in there. And then the next thing we're going to want to do, guys is we're going to take this uh, plastic barb and put it in um, on this PCV pipe and we're going to reuse this OEM clamp here um, and one more thing you guys tighten this one all the way down and leave this one um, able to adjust so just keep it a little loose just hand tighten it down so let's get that done and we'll move on to the next one Okay now guys, so now that we have this connected to the PCV pipe using the OEM clamp there the next thing we're going to do is remove this bracket that, that's down here um, undo that 10 millimeter bolt right there and then we're going to take the rubber grommet that's on the bracket and simply just throw it into the other side where the brackets uh, connect in there Okay, you guys see how we got that rubber grommet in there? You guys can put some grease on it and stick it in there and the next thing you're going to want to do is I'm gonna just have these laid out here 
like that just to make it easier for you guys uh, this one here is going to go on the passenger side and what you're going to do is take the aluminum stud and you're going to screw it into the back of this here so let me do that real quick all right just like that and only hand tighten it down just make it snug because this thing will get messed up it's aluminum you don't want to strip that and then we're going to simply just throw it into the grommet that's there that we moved earlier just like that now the next thing we're going to do Line this in there like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually uh, um, put this end in um, and connect it. All right, guys. Actually, the first thing you want to do is have this out um, and then go and fit that in there. And then what you could do is take an eight millimeter socket and then just reach your hand down in there and you can tighten up that screw that's um, for the hose clamp. And then once you guys have that done, what you guys are gonna wanna do next is get the bottom part of the air box for the aftermarket intakes. And you're gonna wanna line up that top hole um, up with the bracket and the bottom of the mass airflow housing right there. So just line all that up together. And you wanna um, get two of the longer head bolts that they provide, these ones here. Uh, that you use an allen key with and you're going to connect it there and you're going to connect it on this side too but make sure when you guys do it on this side you don't knock out that clinch nut that's on the bottom there that we put in so look out for that but let me get that out the way and we'll keep it going okay guys so now that that is clamped on there um, i'm going to connect the mass airflow sensor clip and then what you're going to want to do is get the air filter and the hose clamp and then just keep in mind when you guys are putting this in there um, that this screw here is going to line up with that hole there. That way you can stick your screwdriver in there and um, you can tighten it up. The next thing you're going to want to do is take off these rubber grommets that are in the um, OEM air box. What you're going to want to do is take the metal sleeve out first and then you could pull the uh, rubber part out. And then you're going to throw it back in in reverse order onto the aftermarket one. Alright, so see how I'm getting the metal piece out first? And then we can go in and take out the uh, rubber part. And then we're going to take the old bolts that we took out earlier. And then we're going to screw it back in. And we should be done with this side. So let me wrap all this up and we'll move on to this side. Alright guys, I went and assembled the driver side one too. Um, if you want to use this as a reference, this is how the hose clamps are going to go. And don't forget about the clinch nut there too um, but we're gonna tighten this one up and leave this one loose that way when we slip it in we could go in and tighten it after we put the bracket down in that rubber grommet we're not going to be moving this rubber grommet on this side but we're still going to use it for the bracket so what I'm going to do is slip this in there and then um, put the bracket on so we got this back in there um, what you guys can do is you guys can adjust this hose clamp before you go and tighten it up. That way this screw is in the right spot. Um, just make it a little easier on yourself. And then you can go ahead and connect the connection right here. And then we're going to get the lower part of the air box. We're going to throw that in there and get the long screws that they provide again. Screw that in there. And then we'll shut it down on everybody, okay? I'll give you guys a look in a second, alright? Sweet! All right, YouTube, we got finished up here. Um, make sure you guys leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video and hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. And go ahead and drop a comment while you're at it. Let me know what you guys are thinking. And uh, you guys also hit me up on Instagram, man. At hashtag Jordan Castro Challenge. Make sure you guys are getting outside your comfort zone. Hope this motivated you guys to go and get after it. I'll catch y'all on the next one, all right? Later. I was moving it around a little bit. You were? Let's yeah. go. Might look good. Oh yeah.